Hi, I'm gonna walk you through the basic components of ECMO along with the blood flow. We're gonna start off at where your venous blood would be drawn from the patient pulled into the ECMO circuit. As venous blood is pulled into the ECMO circuit itself, it's drawn in by a centrifugal pump head. This pump head is monitored by the RPMs that we set it at on the given system itself. The RPMs are established and that spits out a flow. Following the pump head, Blood is then propelled forward to our oxygenator. There are pit stops along the way with different pigtails so that we can do blood draws, do plasmapheresis, cytosorb, anything along those lines of adjunct therapies for the patient. Moving forward, we hit our first stop of a pressure line. This pressure line helps to monitor what our pressures are throughout the oxygenator, which is another main component of the ECMO system. This yellow cap on the oxygenator provides as a hydrophilic membrane that allows air to escape should any be entered in the venous line. Below the oxygenator are water lines. The water lines allow us to heat or cool the blood entering the patient. On the back of the oxygenator, you'll always see a green line, and this is where our oxygenation is provided through the oxygenator to fully oxygenate the blood that's entering into it. If you go up here, you'll see the Seacrest blender along with our sweep gas. This allows us to enter a percentage of oxygen and then we can set it at a rate on our sweep, sweeping CO2 away to provide that high oxygenated blood back to the patient. On the back side or arterial face of the oxygenator, we have a pigtail at the top, again, if we need to have flow go through, and we have our second pressure line. The first pressure line and the second pressure line give us a delta P that lets us know what the pressure is internally in the oxygenator. This allows us to know if there's any clot or anything going on that we need to be cognizant of. Moving forward, going back to the patient, arterial blood is moving at a fast rate, which is set by the flow probe, which again is seen on our screen here. So remember the set RPMs gives us that flow of what we're returning to the patient. As we go back, we take our highly oxygenated blood back and it's differentiated by the red sticker that's labeled on the line and it goes back up to the patient. Now let's walk through the main components of the ECMO system. The first component is the pump head. The pump head is housed by a motor that has a giant magnet inside. The magnet then levitates the propeller inside the pump head itself to bring blood to us and then propel it forward highly oxygenated back to the patient. The pump motor also has a backup pump motor should the main one fail so that we can move one console to the other and get it working back in order. Following that, our second main component is our oxygenator. The oxygenator has the ability to sweep CO2 away and highly oxygenate the blood via the green gas line and the sweep and the mixer provided. We also have a backup console and a main console should one of these fail. These are the main housing and the brains of the ECLS system itself. They contain our power sources as well as our pressure lines and anything extra ancillary like our flow probe. The console itself has a display on the front of it and it also has the screen here that shows us everything that we need to know to ensure our ECMO system is in working order.